buenas noches. Estamos por iniciar la clase del día de ahora. Nada más dándole tiempo. Faltan tres minutos para las ocho de la noche. Nada más dándole tiempo a los alumnos que vayan ingresando. Buenas noches, Wendy. Gusto en saludarla. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, uh, Wendy. How are you today? ¿Cómo está el día de ahora? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Usted Bien, es que acá, acá me cuesta un poco con la señal, se me corta. Ah, ok, entiendo. No se preocupe. Y por eso no me había podido, no me había podido conectar ni el lunes ni ayer. Sí, entiendo. Ok, mientras... Eh, bueno, solo para darle indicaciones, pues no... Estuvo el lunes eh, ni el día de ayer. Eh, no sé si tiene acceso primero a la, a la plataforma. Sí. Uh, good evening, Jenny. Good evening, teacher. Ok, eh, Wendy, eh, ahí en la plataforma está el documento PDF del manual. Entonces, uh -huh. igual, eh, en cada clase, el día siguiente se sube el video. Abajo del video hay unos posts que yo voy a, estoy poniendo diariamente, en los cuales tiene que haber interacción. Igual, en la plataforma hay eh, tareas. Es una tarea por sesión. En la semana son cinco tareas, las cuales tiene que completar al final de la semana para ah, yo okay. reportar el progreso. También tiene que, una de las cosas bien importantes, tener la cámara encendida uh, ah, todo okay. el tiempo, porque como se está grabando eh, el video, Insafor necesita ver que usted estuvo presente, estuvo en la clase. Entonces, las, good evening, Carla. Las sesiones, eh, la, la asistencia se va a tomar dos veces en la sesión para corroborar que se está asistiendo a la clase. Entonces, ¿siempre debo de tener la cámara encendida? Sí, siempre encendida. Ok. Si no la puede encender en estos momentos, ok, ahí estamos. Sí. Ok, no sé si hay alguna pregunta, Wendy, antes de comenzar, que ya es hora de la clase. Eh, por el momento, no. Si tengo dudas, le puedo preguntar este sí, más después. Sí, no hay problema. Eh, los días miércoles... Eh, tenemos una sesión de 10 minutos con cada uno de ustedes. Ah. Eh, ya se les mandó la información, la administración les mandó la información por correo para ver cuándo usted está agendada. Eh, ahora voy a estar con cinco participantes, los cuales voy a estar con cada uno de ellos 10 minutos después de la clase. ¿Usted los elige? No, administración ya agendó la... la la sesión. Ah, okay. Entonces, eh, más tarde voy a ver, eh, permítame, quiero ver porque aquí en el WhatsApp, no sé si está, um, se ha unido al grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, ya. Okay. ya ahí, ahí puse los que están agendados el día de ahora. Ajá. Eh, usted no aparece en el momento y cuando eh, voy a chequear el, el horario más tarde se los voy a mandar en el grupo para que todos estén sabedores que miércoles, porque solo es un, un, un día a la semana que hay refuerzos. Me parece muy bien entonces. Ok, bueno. Ok, good evening. Gracias. Ok, good evening everybody. So, we're going to start the class. And uh, um, we're going to share is the presentation that I have uh, today. So I will share the agenda that we have for today. And uh, let me just share the presentation. Let me just. 
go over to this. Okay. Let me know when you can see the screen. Can you see the screen, guys? No, teacher. Not yet? Yes. 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 Okay. So if we have, uh, we have the video conferencia number three. Uh, today we are going to cover the possible. So how to use the possible. How important it is to use the possible related to business, right? So we're going to move on as uh, we have the class objective, which is at the end of the class. Um, you will be able to discuss and write about a reputation of your company by using the possibles. That is the class objective for today. We have the agenda, we have the warm up. Uh, we are going to review, make a review about the last sessions. Okay, we're going to just discuss the structures that we cover in the last two sessions. Uh, we are going to discuss some questions related to business. We're going to the conversation Okay, then we move on to uh, true or false, that is an exercise. We go over to the passive voice, we go over to the company's reputation, and we are going to wrap up, so we're going to make a little review about the um, what we discussed together today. Okay, as a review, um, we're going to right now, la, la, we're supposed to get in group of three, but I think uh, we are just four or five people. Okay, thank you for joining us, Maritza, Andres, good evening. Okay, um, so we're going to discuss these questions in group of three. Okay, um, you have to discuss the topics and the grammatical structure we have covered in the last two sessions. So, number one, remember, we need to review the infinitive. And number two, we are going to review how to use ING form after a preposition. Vamos a discutir las, um, los tópicos gramaticales que vimos el lunes, on Monday, and Tuesday, yesterday, right? And then you have to list the vocabulary you have learned. Okay, I tienen que hacer una lista del vocabulario que aprendimos. Tenemos, uh, and after that, todo el grupo, o sea, los tres miembros del grupo, tienen que eh, mostrar o show to the class qué es lo que han discutido. ¿Qué entendieron del infinitive? ¿Qué entendieron del ING form? After a preposition. Eh, tienen que darme el listado del vocabulario que han aprendido. And después vamos a presentar, a hacer como una mini presentación de lo que ustedes han discutido en el momento. Is there any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Acuérdense, esto es un review de las dos clases anteriores. No hay preguntas. Eh, Maritza, por favor, eh, puede encender la cámara que es necesario para que sus compañeros la vengan y tenga eye contact, right? Ok, vamos a... Voy a hacer uh, los grupos, los grupos de tres. Vamos a ver, probablemente queda un grupo de eh, dos. Ok, mientras los demás se unen, vamos a hacer, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Vamos a, ok, vamos a hacer los grupos ahorita y si tienen alguna pregunta, pueden preguntar con toda libertad, ok. Let's do this. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yes. 
eh, yo el día de ayer no me pude conectar por, porque el internet estaba malo por aquí. Este, sinceramente no sé qué, qué actividad tendríamos que hacer ahora, teacher. Ah, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es nada más vamos a discutir lo que vimos en las dos sesiones. Por eso, that is the reason I um, include in group of three para que los demás compañeros le den re, realimentación de lo que discutimos. Después vamos a discutir todo. Si se hay preguntas, puedes hacerla con todo gusto. You can do it as free as you want. Ok. Let's discuss. Ahorita discuta con el grupo, con el que está, para si tiene alguna pregunta, yo me voy a estar uniendo a los grupos. Ok. las compañías, las empresas, qué importancia tenían las empresas y cuál era lo que era la visión y la misión de cada empresa, más que todo por lo que uno trabaja. El día martes eh, vimos acerca del ING, que el ING se tiene que usar en preposiciones. Eh, hay una información bien bonita que realmente a mí me, me, me facilitó ahora porque son unas reglas que él dio. Cuando se usa el infinitivo, el to, y cuando se usa la ing. Y eso y, lo mandó al grupo él. Sí, mire, voy a tratar de ponérselo a la cámara. No, eh, lo mandó, yo le tomé captura, pero ahí está la clase. Usted la puede ver. La clase, ya se lo voy a decir porque yo le tomé captura. Y eso me ayudó, pero yo tengo mis dudas, fíjese. Porque Ajá. dice que la ING se va a usar siempre antes de una preposición. Pero después en la... Después de una preposición. ¿Después o antes? Después. Ah, ok. Primero va la preposición, primero va la preposición y después va el verbo conjugado con ING. Ah, pero aquí está. Pues no sé si usted hizo la tarea, Carla. Sí, sí la hice. Y, y porque a mí me confundí, porque a veces no encontraba preposiciones. Sí, okay. eso era lo que yo okay. le decía ayer. Ok. Ay, estoy confundida. Ok. <risa> le mostré, el día de ayer les mostré dos formas de hacer un ING. Two ways to, to use an ING form. After a preposition y después de los verbos listados en, 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 en la página que les mostré. Después, eso fue lo que me ayudó a mí. Después de esos verbos, se va a utilizar un ING. Después de una preposición, se va a utilizar un ING. Mm, okay. ok. Hay dos formas. There are two ways to use it. Ok. So, continue discussing. I will move on to the next group. Okay. Thank you. Después de uno. Ajá. Entonces, eh, eso es lo que yo le decía en la noche, que si nos podía dar el listado de las preposiciones, porque hay un montón. Está after, against, at, by, before, on, without, under, below, uh, in spite of, y otras más. Que me... Entonces, hay que conocer cuál es la palabra, o sea, hay que conocer si la palabra es preposición para después usar el verbo en el... Sí. Ah, viera que me agarraron a la carrera y acababa de ver la hora y estaba en sí, lo de cocinar. No, hombre, que como huele el tiempo. Ok, okay guys, how, how, do you do, how are you doing today? Good? Yeah, I'm okay. How do you go with the review? Remember, we need to review, uh, discuss the topics that we covered yesterday and on Monday. So the grammatical structure, which is the infinitive and the ing form. You need to list the vocabulary you learn. Okay? Let's continue discussing this, please. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay, tienen que eh, discutir los tópicos y las estructuras gramaticales que vimos el día de ayer y el lunes. Ah, okay. eh, segundo, listar el vocabulario que ustedes han aprendido durante las dos clases. 
y después todo el grupo va a exponer qué es lo que han discutido. Vamos a tomar un tiempo para discutir. Si tienen dudas, preguntas, me las pueden hacer ahorita o si no, la podemos hacer durante eh, la discusión que vamos a, a tener después de que volvamos todos a la sesión. Quizás después, porque ahorita, bueno, por lo menos yo vengo llegando. Yo igual. Okay. ok, pero tienen que discutir, tienen que hacer un review, un repaso de las estructuras que vimos en los dos días anteriores. Les voy a dar okay. cinco minutos más y después volvemos todos. Ok. Ok. okay. Bueno, Bye. haciendo remembranza, ah, empezamos ah, con... Pero hemos visto lo del el, el uso del infinitivo, how to use infinity. Infinity, infinity. Va, y en ese eh, se usa. Uh, she comes here for shopping. Uh, a nice cream, por ejemplo. I love uh, him or. Um, uh, por ejemplo, usted puede decir: I will go to see a movie after. Giving. Entonces siempre va primero la preposición y después va el verbo con el Ok. Ok, perfecto. Bien. Y, y de, la, de la clase, ¿qué fue lo que nos puso? Que, que estábamos discutiendo, pero no sé si hemos cumplido todos los, los pasos que nos dio. Ok, ya discutieron eh, no, dijo el, vocabulario. No, eso, a eso vamos. A vocabulario. El vocabulario. Ok, good. A vocabulario. Uh -huh. Bien, um, en el caso de, de vocabulario, sí, yo he aprendido, como digamos, la palabra ayer, fit, de que era como... Eh, ¿Cuál? Fit, fit. Esa palabra que tanto me costó. ¿Fallo? Ahorita le digo. F-A-I-L-S, fail. Es correcto. no. Sí. No. ¿Cómo se escribe? Chief se pronuncia. C-H-E-F. Encargado. Chief. Chief. Ah, el chief. Esa, esa palabra es bastante fuerte. ¿Y ustedes? Um, no, yo en la clase de ayer sí tengo varias. Tengo el I'm, que es enfocarse, I'm. ir al punto. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Um, manage, uh, bother, shark, and instead out. Esas fueron, esas no las conocía. Okay. Uh -huh. Esas son mis nuevas palabras que, que aprendí ahí. Bueno, ni tan aprendí, pero por lo menos las anoté. Oye, Creo que Dora está con nosotros también, ¿verdad? Y Dora está Hola. con nosotros. Aquí, aquí estoy de oyente, no se preocupe. Okay. Pongo mi cámara porque mi computadora colapsó y tendría que estarme conectando con el teléfono para la cámara y la computadora para estar. Ok, no hay problema. No hay problema. Sí, estoy, es, la verdad que estoy escuchando todo lo que están hablando porque ayer no entré a clases, pero bueno. Ok, Dora, si usted tiene alguna pregunta, eh, la podemos discutir entre todos después cuando volvamos todos juntos para discutir qué es lo que estamos haciendo todos, ¿ok? Sí, considero que ahorita, según lo que estoy escuchando, están discutiendo un poco de los verbos, de las preposiciones. That's, That's right. Porque más o menos estoy entendiendo, aunque uh, el vocabulario para mí es todo, no lo entiendo prácticamente, pero... Sí, eh, está sirviendo de mucho. Ok, great. Las compañeras, gracias. Ok, welcome. Voy a expresar un propósito o la razón por la que alguna, por la que alguien hace algo y da unos ejemplos. Para que, es decir, to eat, eat y pone algunos, algunos ejemplos. Uh -huh. eh, y ejemplos con oraciones, ¿no tenés? Y tenía una que había estado descargando, pero está un poco lento el sistema. Aquí, aquí ya. Un poco lento la compu. Aquí está. Vaya, por ejemplo, <coughs> eh, usando el, el eh, por ejemplo, it is 
good to tell. ¿Cómo va? El infinitivo va. Está el infinitivo, to talk. To talk. Ah. Very good, very good. Ok. El infinitivo es to talk. O sea que es eh, de lo que estamos hablando al principio, Carlos Emilio. De que el verbo va acompañado, bueno, mejor dicho, el verbo va acompañando a la palabra tú. O el artículo tú. El artículo ¿Va? tú. Uh -huh. Entonces podríamos decir una, una este, oración eh, similar, similar, sería la que te mencionaba, la de He'll come to the party later to pick up Julia. Va, como ahí va to the para poner la fiesta, para to the party. ¿Sería así? El to, el infinitivo to, es to come. Acuérdense que el ah, pues infinitivo entonces va estaba antes mal, del verbo. Is entonces estaba mal verb. estructurada la, 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 la oración, teacher. Dígamela otra vez. Can you repeat it, please? Ok. He'll come to the party later to pick up Julia. Later, Sería... later. To pick, ah, up. to pick up. To Aquí pick sería up. el uso del, del infinitivo. That's ¿verdad? right. To pick up. That's correct. Okay. okay. Let's go back to uh, to the session, everybody, and uh, uh, we're going to discuss that. Y aquí okay. ya es la, la, la sesión normal. Ya tendría, sí, ya es la sesión normal. Ok. Déjeme. Eh, okay. ok, let me just to move on to this. Ok. There are some students that are joining us. Okay, I will wait. Okay, very good. Does everybody, thank you, Daisy Guzmana, for joining us. Can you activate the camera, please? Um, Deves Guzman, puede activar la cámara, por favor, para que todos los veamos. Gracias por unirse a la clase. Okay, guys, so. The groups you were, in the groups you were, what did you discuss? ¿Qué fue lo que discutieron? El uso del infinitivo. Okay, the use of the infinitive. Okay, when do we use the infinitive, guys? When do we use the infinitive? When I, when I, when there are a reason for do something. Okay, when there is a reason, very good, to do something, very good. What is some of the examples that you discuss? Give me one example, just one. Volunteer. Algún ejemplo? You can see the book. You have it there. We developed yesterday some exercises, remember? I learned English to get a new job. Okay, I am learning English to get a new job. El to get is the infinitive. Very good. What else did you discuss? ¿Qué más discutieron? New vocabulary, vocabulary. Okay, the new vocabulary. What is that new vocabulary or the vocabulary you remember? Me, 
manage? Manage. Very good. Chief. Chief. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? I'm. Okay, bother. I'm. Bother. Very good. What else? Yeah. Instead. Instead. Okay. I'm a speed up. A speed up. Okay. Okay, what about the gerund? So the ing form after a preposition. Okay, what is the what are the prepositions that we covered yesterday? For the bear and the after the preposition. Okay, yes, we use um, the ing form after a preposition and after the verbs. Okay, very good. So, give me an example using uh, after a preposition. Yes. Don't you remember that? Okay, one of the, uh, 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 yes. De las tareas que nos dio estaba una que decía, do you enjoy reading books? Okay, very good. Enjoy es el verbo eh, que estamos utilizando. The, remember, there are two ways to use the ing form. After a preposition, and there are some verbs that we use after that. Okay, I enjoy reading. Okay, enjoy is a verb. Después de ese verbo va a ir una, eh, an ing form, right? I enjoy reading. I like dancing. If you see, that is the verb, like, and then we use uh, ing form. Okay, now, I need that you give me an example using a, a preposition. I enjoy writing. No, so I, yeah. I enjoy? I enjoy running in I, the morning. Okay, very good. I enjoy running in the morning. Great. By using a preposition. A preposition will be before. Okay. Hmm? The preposition enjoy. No, enjoy no, es, es el verbo. Es, es el, that is a uh, verb. A preposition uh, is after, before. Okay. Before, ah, okay. before, uh, before taking dinner. Uh, okay, before taking I am dinner. I am enjoy running in the morning after the lunch. Okay, very good. That is when we use after a verb, cuando lo usamos después de un verbo. Pero cuando lo usamos después de una preposición. Mm -hmm. Before taking my lunch, I take a shower. Okay, si ustedes se fijan, before es la preposición. Uh -huh. Take es el verbo. Okay, before taking my lunch, I take a shower. Before taken is the, before is the preposition and taken is the ing form. Tenemos que tener el, la preposición, eh, la preposición, después el verbo más el ing. Is it clear about that? Yes? A little bit. A little uh, bit? Okay, so. You can, you can show an, an, uh, Una oración en la pantalla, no sé. Okay, let me just go back to that. Of course. Let me just to share the presentation that we um, saw yesterday. Okay, let me share this. Thank you. 
Let me know where can you see uh can you see that the screen? Okay. Okay. This is remember the presentation that we uh saw yesterday that we checked yesterday. These are the preposition after, before, by, on, without. These are preposition. Now, if you see, that's what I'm saying at the, in my sentence. Mm -hmm. I said in my sentence, before, okay, before taking my lunch, okay, before taking my lunch, I take a shower. Now, if you see here, after having a shower, I waited for Stephen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> have before. The table, the tablet must be taken before getting up in the morning. If you see, we have before and we have get. Get is the verb. Mm -hmm. Before is la preposición. Remember that. After, before, by, in spite of, on, and without, those are prepositions. Is it clear? Estamos claros? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Now, using this once, these verbs enjoy mind, stop, finish, and suggest we use an ING form. There are two ways to do it. Okay, una es con preposiciones, and the other one is with verbs. Enjoy, I enjoy dancing. Okay, finish. I finish in, I am finishing the a homework. Okay, if you see, finish. We have suggest. Mary suggested going to the zoo. We have a stop. I don't mind being alone. Okay, in this case, mind. Okay, I stop getting, if you see, I stop getting spams. I stop getting chocolates. Okay, if you see after the verb, we use the ing form. Después de cualquiera de estos verbos, utilizamos el verbo, el ing form. Estamos claros? Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Any question, guys? Alguna pregunta? Is there any questions so far? Not? Okay. Very good. Okay, let's move on uh, to the next part. Let me just to close this screen. Let's move on uh, to this part. Okay, let me just share. And let me know when you can see the screen. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. We just discussed this one. Now we go to the discussion. Okay, does everybody have um, the PDF uh, file? Tienen el, todos tienen el libro a la mano, o el PDF. Los que están en la plataforma pueden accesarlo. Lo pueden ver online, pueden bajarlo. O igual pueden imprimirlo también if you want it. You can print it if you want it. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to discuss the questions in activity number one. Okay, we're going to get in groups. Okay, I will uh, stop sharing this uh, screen and I will show you what I need that you need, uh, what I need that you have to discuss. Let me just share the screen. Okay, let me just share the screen for the book that I have. Let me know what you can see the, uh, the screen. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. So what I need to do is discuss this. What is reputation? How do businesses build their reputation? And what is the reputation of the place you work for? Okay, I need just discuss the questions. Solo las preguntas. Don't go, don't go over the conversation. No quiero que vayan a la conversación. Only the question and activity number one only this please i will stop sharing this one and um, i'm going to get in groups let me just to go to that one Okay, let me just to, let's move on. Let's get in group of three. Four, excuse me. Okay, you can join to the group. discutir no sé qué era ajá yo Vamos. solo tomé pantalla de lo que quería lo voy a lo voy a revisar ahorita va si lo puede compartir vaya quiero ver si puedo Okay, the first question, uh, um, en lo que comparte, okay, ahí uh -huh. está. The first question is, what is reputation? ¿Qué es lo que entiende? What do you understand by reputation? ¿Qué es lo que entienden por reputación? Okay, what is that? So try to discuss that. And the second question is, how do business build their reputation? And number three, what is reputation of the place you work for? Okay. Discussed. Try to speak English, guys. Traten de hablar el inglés que saben. As I mentioned before, si no pueden decirlo en inglés, you can allow to do it in Spanish, but try to use the language. Okay. Well. Okay, what is reputation? Somebody write the, the somebody write the the question to discuss the one by one question. Okay, remember this is just speaking. Just speaking. Después vamos a discutirlos todos juntos. Okay. It's not necessary that you write it down. Okay, you have to just, just speak. Okay. Discutamos, chicos. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Okay, Joel, what do you understand by, what is reputation? In the first well, question. Reputation and whatever people. Yes, so you can discuss. El propósito es que discutamos, ustedes okay. como grupo discuta las, las preguntas. The, the reputation of one person is a, he is a puntual, he is a honest people, okay. he is a, a, a honest people and are um, very good uh, people with the other person and, okay. and this is my, for me this is a good reputation because it's a good good throw to the other person other people Okay, very good. What do you what do you think, Wendy? What is reputation? Como. Es reputación para usted. ¿Qué significa esa palabra? No necesariamente de una persona. Acuérdese que, uh, remember, we're talking about business. We're talking about companies. Okay, so. Let's discuss this one and I will go into another group, okay? Okay. Lo que hace de su trabajo, que sería el... Bueno, disciplina, no sé cómo se escribe en inglés. Discipline. Pues aquí tengo que puede ser las son las percepciones la, las percepciones que, que refleja una empresa basado eh, guiándose o según el comportamiento que estas tengan Okay, guys, yes. Okay, what is reputation, guys? Is is depends uh, the perception. The perception or is it, the is the perception in oh. Of the uh, uh, you have uh, the perspective, right? So a different perspective that people has for that that person. If we're talking about people, but um, we're talking in this case about business. What is a reputation for a company? Mm. For example, what is the reputation of Google? That is a company. Oh, let's let's go. Let's let's make it easy. What is the reputation for Coca-Cola? Uh, es en cuanto a calidad, confiabilidad. Okay, they have a good quality. They are mm -hmm. a trustful company. Okay, very good. So you have a a good perspective of this company, right? Tener una buena perspectiva de esta compañía, mm -hmm. right? So that is uh, a reputation. So the way that the company works, if it's good, if it's bad, if they have high quality or they have low quality. Okay, continue uh, discussing the rest of the question. I will get back to you. Okay. Oh, no. Good. 
build their reputation after giving a good service. The reputation? The reputation they have after? No. Giving good give, service. Giving. Mm -hmm. A good service. Give, give, se escribe G I B, mm -hmm. pero con el ING es giving mm -hmm. a good mm -hmm. service. After giving, a good. el verbo dar, give, giving, the reputation a good service. service. Mm -hmm. A good attention, uh, no, a good service quedaría mejor. Sería genial que nos dejaran In compartir la pantalla. Ah, ¿Te puede? ¿Perdón? En Quality Card también le podemos poner. Se puede. Ah, you, can oh, share, oh, you can share your screen if you want. Yeah. Puede compartir la pantalla si quieres. Enterprise. 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 O you can say company. Will. Will. Uh, companies. Build. 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 Their reputation after mm -hmm. giving a good service. Okay, good service very good. En, en quality care, como atención de calidad. Very Podría good. Ser. Yes, uh -huh. that's right. Y la última. Okay. Esa era la última. No, falta una. No. La segunda. No, es la segunda está. Estamos en la segunda, ahorita vamos a la tercera. Your look. O sea, su apariencia, your look. Your look of business. O sea, su apariencia de negocio. Do you have any question, guys? Can okay. you finish? Yes, yes, yes. I have a question. Yes, what is your question? And, and the first time... And I have a question because, uh, wait, the reputation of the person talk about is a uh, reputation of business or reputation personal? That is for business. Yeah, business. That's only? Only for business. Okay, what is reputation? How do you, um, the next question is, how do business build a reputation and what is the reputation of the place you work for? Aquí la, la última es la reputación que tiene la compañía de cada uno de ustedes. Eso puede ser una reputación buena, pues una so-so, or a good reputation, okay? Mm -hmm. So that is about the companies that you work for. Okay, let's in, continue. Yes. In the second question, in Spanish teacher? Como las empresas o los negocios construyen su reputación? Mm -hmm. ¿De qué manera? Mm -hmm. Si eh, por medio de redes sociales, por medio de people that buy their products and give good feedback about that, or they uh, give uh, bad feedback about the products. Acuérdense que, uh, bueno, hoy está la, por la situación en que estamos, la mayoría de negocios ahora está dando el delivery, right? Yeah. Entonces, ¿cuánto se tarda cuando uno ordena algo? ¿Cuánto se tarda en llegar? Si compró algo o se lo mandaron a domicilio y iba a ser contra entrega el pago si la empresa a la que ordenó el producto le cumplió o no entonces so so in that way you can address the, the situation right de esa manera pueden uh, manejar la segunda pregunta you can do those points Okay, any question? I will give you two more minutes. A las 8.52 vamos a regresar a, a todos juntos. Okay, let's continue to discuss the question. Okay. Okay. Entonces quedamos...
Yo no sé si se logra entender. Ah, pues para practiquémoslo. Si quieren, empiezo es. What is reputation? Positive or negative opinion that many people have about a person or a thing for its good qualities. ¿Quién sigue? Pues yo. How the business uh, with their reputation? It can be built based on pillars as such as, as credibly, honestly, and quality. Next. Yeah. Solo, solo una, una cosita, chicos. There are, when I say how do businesses build, they are built there, son dos palabras separadas. Build is one and there is another. Yeah. Build. Ah, okay. Yeah, thank you. Builder. Okay, very good. Continue. Okay. What is the reputation of the place you work for? It is based on ethics and transparency in the development of all its activities. Okay, very good. Great. Okay. Nueve ocho cincuenta y dos en un dentro de in one minute we get back to the main room. Let's continue with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Como, como, Pero eso es importante porque significa que nos va a esforzar a Uh -huh. a, a hablar más es correcto sí a pronunciar mejor y sí, la verdad que ahorita ha sido bien productivo esto de los, los verbos como lo dicen que... prim primero le enseñan a hablar después le enseñan la gramática uno eso es lo importante that's right guys <risa> <risa> very good ese es el punto ese es el propósito ok so let, we are going to have you finish this discussing the question yes right Okay, yes. now let's move on uh, to the main room. I will stop the sessions and we go back to the to everybody. Okay. Okay, so we just waited just a couple seconds before the other people get into the room. Okay, do you have any questions, guys, before discussing these questions? Algún comentario, alguna sugerencia, alguna pregunta? Do you have any question regarding that? No? So far, so good? Todo bien? Todo claro? Like water? Great. Okay, just 10 seconds before that everybody join to the room. Okay, the people is showing. Okay, guys, so let's move on uh, to this part. And uh, we have the first question, what is reputation? What is um, reputation? Is what the people think of the company. Okay, very good. Is what the people think about the company. Very good. If there are good feedback and there is a bad feedback, right? There is good and bad feedback. Very good. So how do business build their reputation? Question number two. How do businesses build their reputation? Using the marketing digital. Okay, by using the digi digital marketing. Very good. What else? Digital marketing. Mm -hmm. What else?
Yes, any other opinion about that? Offer, offer delivery. Okay, offer delivery. Okay, by offer delivery, so that is um, how they build their reputation very good. What else? Any other opinion? Give a good service. Okay, by giving a good service. Si se fijan, yo dije by giving, utilizando la preposición más el verbo con ing. By giving good service, very good. What else? De qué otra forma, in a, what other way do businesses build their reputation? Let's take the opinion of the people uh, or person. Okay. Eh, no sé cómo podríamos decir que trabaje con, con ellos, no sé. Ok, probably the employee, el empleado, someone that it, it works for that company, they can give a good or bad feedback about that, right? A veces eh, uno de empleado, más que todo en las compañías grandes de productos, eh, por ejemplo, como productos ele electrónicos, electronic devices, So, ellos pueden decir, son buenos los productos que mi compañía produce. O mi compañía produce más o menos, de más o menos calidad los, 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 los productos electrónicos. De esa forma, so, uh, businesses build their reputation, right? So, another way is giving a high quality of their products. Ok, dar una calidad... Eh, una buena calidad de sus productos. Not only um, products, but also services. Ok, también puede ser en servicios. Ok, so por ejemplo, what is the um, opinion that you have for, let's say, Tigo? Is <laughs> bad got away. Ok, that is a reputation. Tigo builds okay. the reputation, right? This is not a product, es un servicio, no es un producto, yes. it's a service. So, yes. you, uh, it's Andres, a bad service. <laughs> Andres and Joel had bad experiences. Por eso dicen yes. que es un mal servicio. Okay, algunas personas, some people, have good experience about the, the service. Probably no me have... Yes. Uh, no sé si depende, depende, se dice depende, no sé. Yes, it este, depends. Uh, it depends. Uh, uh, the place uh, in the city or... Okay. No sé cómo podríamos decir lejos de la ciudad. It's far away from city. Far away, far away from away, city. Far away, far away from city or... Oh. Ok. <laughs> ok, very good. Thank you, Andrés. Eh, por eso, depende uh, de la región también, porque there are um, towns or outside the city. Ok, probablemente la señal no es muy buena. Ok, por ejemplo, si yo voy, if yo tengo Movistar, ok, en mi línea de teléfono. Si voy a la costa, que está lejos de la ciudad, that is far away from city, so I don't have good sign now, ok, no me llega mucho la señal, ok, no me puedo comunicar, why, because you have a poor signal, I have a poor signal, that's correct, ok, that is the way companies build their reputation, by giving a good service, or bad service, or give a high quality of products, ok, Now, let's move on to the third question. What is reputation of the place you work for? That's right. ¿Qué es la reputación que tiene? So be honest. Be honest. <laughs> Say I'm honest. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, depending on the people uh, okay. or, or client or... Or the client or customer client. in this case. Mm -hmm. Customer, okay. Uh, depending on the products, 
¿Cómo se diría productos? Products, yes. Products, okay. Uh, depending the product is using with with use or Okay. ¿Cómo se podría decir que usa con nosotros? Dependiendo del producto que usa con nosotros. It depends on the product that people use. Use. Okay. Solamente. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Andres. Okay, and it's somebody else. Alguien más? Okay, Carla, what are you what are you um, can give us the reputation of uh, your company? Uh, we work for um, uh, uh, prepare a good credit for him. Okay. For agricultura, agricultura? Yes, agriculture. Uh -huh. Or uh, business. Okay, for business. Very good. Wendy, what about you? Wendy tiene el micrófono apagado. Sí, ahorita. Ok, great. Vale. Okay. What is the reputation that your, does your company have? Um, en español. Yes, try to say, trata de decirlo en inglés. Si no puede, you can use the Spanish. Don't worry. Me ayuda usted. Ok, that's fine. <laughs> that's what we are here. Um, my fue la pregunta pero en español ok cuál es la reputación que tiene el lugar donde trabaja uh, ok este it's good so so bad es bastante buena that is bastante. very very good it's, it's very, very good What is the service or product that your company sells? ¿Cuál es el servicio o producto que su compañía vende? Um, tenemos varios productos, lo que son este, créditos. Okay, eh, you have credits, have loans. Credit. Mm -hmm. oh, um, quiero ver qué más. Los seguros. Ok. Entre otros. Well, ok, you have insurances. Insurance es un seguro. Insurance. Ok, the insurance. You have a loans. Loans son los créditos. Ok. Loans son los créditos. Loans son los créditos. And insurance es el seguro. Ok, very good. Thank you, Wendy. What about you, Carlos? What is the reputation of your company? You have the mute microphone. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Hola. Okay, ahí está. Ahí estamos, Carlos. Thank you. De Cosete. Um, reputation of my company. Yes. <laughs> okay. First of all, what is the product or service does your company sells? ¿Qué es el producto o servicio que en su compañía uh, provee o vende? Um, sería ser service Okay, eh, como decir, service. service finance, service finance, okay, financial service, okay. financial service, okay, very good. So you offer loans, right? So what is the reputation of your company? Does your company provides a loan in a fast way? So da un resultado de un crédito solicitado eh, lo más rápido posible, o se tardan semanas en dar un resultado en decir si se lo probamos o decir no mm. aceptable it's, it's is, time is time is aceptable it's a standard okay it's in a okay. timely manner so 
is a standard uh, period of time that your company uh, gives a resolution. Okay, very good. Okay, Jenny, what about you? Mm, no comments. No some comments? People, <laughs> okay. Some, <laughs> some people is very good, but other people say it's very bad. Uh, every day, try give better. Okay, so the company every day tries to be a better company just to give a better customer service. Yes. Okay, very good. Julia, what about you? Um, eh, bueno, el mío es un colegio. Okay. Y pues la, eh, una excelente quality education o, okay. o una buena calidad educativa. Yes, it's a good, uh, high quality education. Ah, eh, okay. high quality education. Okay. Mm, lo que pues brindamos es education, ¿verdad? Educación. Okay. That's uh, <laughs> And, and, and la, pues es un excelente servicio. Okay, very good. It's an excellent service. Great. Sí. Thank you, Julia. Uh, Dora, what about you? What can you tell us about uh, the third ah, question? Pues ya Carolina, Carolina lo dijo todo. <laughs> ya lo tenía listo aquí. Ah. Estaba practicar y practicar. Okay. <laughs> No, Very good. Eh, es una excellent education. Excellent education. Okay. Very good, Dora. Thank you. Flor, what about you? Flor, me escucha? Bueno, quizás se le trabó, eh, se le frizó el, 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 el Zoom. Okay, guys. Do you have any questions regarding um the question so any other comment besides that algún otro comentario referente a las preguntas no no everything is okay okay um i will share the we're going to move to the next activity okay let me just to share The presentation. Let me know when you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you see, we now we are going to go to the conversation. Okay. The teacher, in this case, me, we read the conversation. And uh, you have to pay attention to uh, what the teacher pronunciation is. After that, you have to repeat, and then uh, you have to practice the conversation in pairs. And after that, we are going to move on uh, to practice the conversation. Okay, what is the conversation that I want that you practice? Let me know if you can uh, see the screen. Pueden ver la conversación o ven la uh, presentación. La presentación, la conversación, no. Okay, let me just um, share the conversation. Let me know when you can see that. Can you see it? Ahí está. Okay, very good. Yeah, we have the conversation that this is a, a conversation between Daniel and Jessica. Okay, I will go over to the conversation. If you have any questions regarding the vocabulary, let me know at the end of the conversation. Okay, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? 
Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great, and we are happy to work for Rex. Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary? Yo, ese noun porque lleva n al final. Okay. No, no, más eh, adelante, después de la conversación, vamos a irnos a la estructura gramatical. Eh, quiero ver si puedo escribir acá. Ok, let me just move it. Ok, if you see, we have no is the present new is the past and known is the past participle. Okay, I know you. I know San Salvador. Okay, esta es la palabra o el verbo, mejor dicho, saber. Este es en presente. This is in past. And this is a past participle. Basado en la estructura, que okay, más adelante vamos a ver, we are going to explain how to use it. En este caso, la idea es conocida. Okay, es conocida por the modern designs and the quality of the closet we made. Es conocida por los diseños modernos y la calidad de ropa que hacen. Okay, más adelante vamos a ver la estructura de how to use that, um, that grammatical structure. Okay. Thank Do you have that? Okay, very good. Okay, let me just to um, erase this one. Any other question? No? No questions about vocabulary? Okay, very good. So please repeat. So okay. only, yes. only, um, let me pronounce recognize. Re recognize. Re uh -huh. Recognize. Nice. Very good. Is that correct pronounce? Yes, pronunciation. Okay. Recognize. The pronunciation. Recognize. Re recognize. Okay. It's like a reconocida, verdad? That's right. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the, please repeat everybody. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Okay, quiero escucharlos, porque ayer, ayer y el lunes, the day before yesterday, and yesterday, I didn't hear you. So, let me uh, hear your voices, no? Eh, todos pongan en on los micrófonos, por favor. Que quiero escuchar la pronunciación. So, Jessica, what does your company do? So, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Very good. I see. I see. I see. And what is Rex known for? And what is, what is Rex, Rex known, for? Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs. Rex is Rex known, is known for, for the modern design. designs. And the quality of the clothes we make. And the and quality, the quality, quality of, of the clothes we make. We make. Great. Right. And are you happy? Are you to happy to work for Rex? Are you happy to work for Rex? Um, work for Rex? Absolutely. 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 Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. company. 
their personal is important for them. Their personal, their personal is important, is important, important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. Congratulations, Congratulations Jessica. Jessica. Wow, You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Text right. is rated as one of the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Rex is rated as one of the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Now, what we're going to do, I am Daniel. Yo voy a ser Daniel y todos ustedes van a ser Jessica. I do this okay. and you go to that. Y después vamos, we are going to change roles, everybody. Okay, I will yeah. start. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we have clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known now for the modern the quality of the clothes of the Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rex is called a very positive company. Personal is important for them. For them. Very good. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Okay. Now, you are going to be Daniel and I'm going to be Jessica. At the count of three. One, two, three. Start. So, so, so Jessica, Jessica, what does, what does, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I, I see. see. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great, great, great. And um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Right. Rex is rated as one of the most prestigious companies in the Salvador. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, ¿Todos tienen la conversación a la mano? Porque voy a dejar de compartir la pantalla. O yeah. tomen la captura de pantalla. Sí. Ok, very good. Me avisan cuando Espera, ya... Espérese. Ok. <risa> Ahora. Ok, ¿puedo dejar de compartir pantalla? Yes. Sí. Yes, ok. Sí. Great. Ok. Let's move on to this. What we're going to do right now, I will say the names of people and you practice the conversation, right? We're going to start with Jenny and Eduardo Alfredo. Jenny is that, uh, Jessica and Eduardo will be Daniel. Okay. In this case, um, you can use your names. Pueden utilizar sus nombres. Que en el caso de Jessica, uh, uh, tiene que decir Eduardo Jenny. Ok. Ok. Eduardo, start. So, Jenny, why do, what do you do does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex not for? Rex is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is import important for them. Congratulations, Jenny. You're right. Rex is ready and one of the of the most prestigious companies in the Salvador. Very good. Just one, just one thing. Recognize. 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 And the other is rated. 
Raider. Raider. En vez de Raider. Raider. Es como una R. Raider. 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 Very good. Raider. Very good. Ok. Now, Carla and uh, uh, Carlos Emilio. Carla will be Jessica and Carlos will be Daniel. So, Jessica. Oh. So, Carla. Yeah. What yeah. does your company do? At Reds, at Reds we produce cloth for you. I see. And what is Reds known for? Reds is known for? Uh, the modern design and the quality of the cloth we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. Red is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Carla. Your red rice red is ready as one of the ten, ten most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Okay, now Tatiana and Maritza. Okay, Tatiana will be Daniel and Marisa, will, Maritza, excuse me, will be Jessica. Okay, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kites. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for, for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is re reconciled as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Just one thing, kids, 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 kids. and uh, recognize, recognize. Recom very good, very good. Now we have Julia and Floor. Julia will be Daniel, and Floor will be Jessica. Uh, Daniel. Yo comienzo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, Julia. Eh, ¿Me dijo el nombre de quién, perdón? De Flor. Eh, Flor, yes. A ver. So, Flor, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the modern design and the quality of the cloth we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. The personal is important for them. Congratulations, uh, Flor. You write Rex, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most pre uh, prestigious companies in El Salvador. Very good. Prestigious company. Prestigious. 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 Very good. Now we have Wendy and Wendy will be Daniel. Um, I'm sorry. Wendy will be Jessica and Andres will be Daniel. Tiene, eh, Wendy, ¿tiene la, la captura de pantalla? O, o muestro la, sí, la pantalla. Ok, good. Sí, la tengo. Okay. Gracias. Yo creo que la tengo completa. Si gusta, mejor compártamela, por okay. favor. Ahorita la compa comparto la pantalla. Gracias. Just let me go to this. Okay, let's move on this. Okay. Okay, gracias. Okay. Daniel, ¿verdad? Okay, Daniel will be Andrés. 
Okay. Uh, so, Wendy, uh, what does your company do? At Red, we produce clothes for kids. Okay. I see. And uh, what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the more design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And uh, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Absolutely, red is re recognized. recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Very good. Congratulations, Wendy. You're right. Rex is rated as uh, one of the most prestigious company in El Salvador. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, very good. Congratulations, very good. Okay, now I will just stop sharing that one because I need to know who else. Okay, now Joel and Joel will be Daniel and Dora will be Jessica. Sure. Yes. Well, I have a problem. Um, you can share the conversation. Okay. No problem. Let me just share it. Okay. Okay. Let me share that one. Don't worry. Okay. Let me know when you can see it. Okay. Okay, you can start well, and then we have uh, Dora. Okay, so Dora, what does your company do? Dora, uh, yes. At Joel, no. At Rex. At Joel, we produce. Ay, que no es Joel. Rex es la compañía. Rex, le Rex, is, Rex is the company. Rex is the compañía. Ah, perdón. Don't worry, that's fine. <laughs> oh, está bien. At Red. Uh -huh. At Red. Uh, produce products clothes for kids. Very good. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern textiles and Fines. the quality. Okay. Of the clothes, I I say quality of the clothes. The clothes. We. Pardon? The clothes. We. We make. Make very we good. Make. Great. Make. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Absolute. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very Rex. good. Absolutely. Rex, it's recognized. Recognize. Recognize. Recognize as very prestigious company. Um, their personnel. Their personal, personal is important. For personal them. is important for them. Yeah, very good. Congratulations, Dora. Your right, Rex, is great as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Congratulations, guys. Okay, okay I will stop uh, sharing the uh, screen. Okay, do you have any question before moving on to the next activity? Hay alguna pregunta antes de movernos a la siguiente actividad? No? Okay, Vamos, voy a, a tomar lista. Eh, porque se me olvidó, tuve que haberla tomado hace 15 minutos. Ok, voy a tomar lista, acuérdense, tienen que decir presente. Ok, en show, si no pueden mostrar la cámara, pues tienen que decir presente. Ok, Eduardo Antonio Ángel Martínez. Ok, es no here. Jenny Quesada Fernández de Campos. Presente. Ok, very good. Ok, 
um, Kenny Alexandra Montenegro Galdames. Okay, she's didn't, I think she's sick. Uh, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. We don't have it, Sergio. And uh, we have Monica Guadalupe Martinez Munguia. No. Eh, Jose Ernesto Rivera Deras. Eh, Wendy Joana Estrada Escobar. Presente. Hey, thank you. Uh, we have Andres Os Oswaldo Ramos Cepeda. I'm present. Thank you. And Eduardo Alfredo Perez Rugamas. Presente. Great. Uh, Tatiana Genoveva de Merino Flores. Presente. Thank you. Carla Evelyn Melendez Guzman. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. Presente. Great. Um, we have Mariela Lourdes Amaya Herrera. She's not here. And we have Mariela, okay, Flor Rodriguez de Morales. Flor, tiene apagado el micrófono, Flor. Ahí está, se le, se le congeló la pantalla, pero está presente. Ok. Eh, next one we have is Carlos Emilio Contreras. Presente. Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, we have Dora Ayala presente. de López. No, no thank you. Yes, thank you. Hola, presente. Thank you, Dora. Uh, we have the last, we have Emma Carolina Araniva, Saravia. She's not here. And Daniel Edgardo Alvarez Hernandez. She's not here. And Julia Carolina Monge Rodriguez. Presente. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's move on to the next activity. And I will share um, what I need that you see. I will share um, the screen. Okay, so we have exercises true or false. Okay, um, can you see the screen? Yes? Okay, very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the activity number three on page uh, 15. Okay, that is below the conversation. Okay, I will stop sharing this screen And I will share the book, what I need that you do. Okay, we're going to do this in couples, in pairs, okay? I will share the screen for this. And I need that you take a, a screenshot of this one, okay? A screenshot of this one. Okay, say if a statement below are true or false. Okay, tomenle una screenshot, porque vamos a trabajar en parejas. Okay, we're going to work in, in group of two, in pairs. Ya? ¿Puedo, ¿Puedo hacer los grupos ya, las parejas? Okay. Yeah, teacher. Yes, no, okay, very good. Let me unshare this one and I need to do. Okay.
Hello. Okay, guys. So the first sentence. People know rakes produces clothes with modern designs for kids. Basado en la conversación eh, que tuvimos anteriormente y practicamos, esa oración es true or false. True es por eh, verdadero y false es falsa. What es falsa. The, are you sure? La uno. La uno, Number sí. One. Number one. People no Rex produce clothes. Te está diciendo que si la compañía Rex produce clothes es calcetina, ¿verdad? No, clothes es ropa. So, ropa perdón, en general. Ropa, perdón. Don't worry, that's Clothes. fine. Okay. Okay. Confundiendo, sorry. Yeah, okay. Eh, Modern Designs for Modern Kids. Designs for kid. Acuérdense que en la conversación hablaron sobre eso. Sí. Que la oración. True, que... es true. Very good. True, That true. is true. So let's continue. Let's continue with the rest of the que of the sentence. I will change. I will move to another room. Okay. 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 Está diciendo of the twenty most prestigious, y en el diálogo dice of the ten most. Very okay. good. That's it's right. False. That is false. Okay. Okay. Uh, you finish, right? Yes. Okay. Voy a asaltar a otra pareja para ver si ya terminaron. Lo voy a dar unos 30 segundos a un minuto para que todos volvamos a la reunión. A la reunión. Okay. 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 As one of the 20 mods. Prestigio. Company, company. Prestigious company. Ahí sería false. Exacto. Very Porque good. Hablan Very good. De los 20. Entonces yeah. solo de, de todas, solo una es mala. ¿verdad? Solo una. Solo una es falsa, me lo he dicho. Sí. Ok. Listo. Dice? Mm -hmm. Es que sí, acá en el diálogo dice... Um, red is not for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Entonces, pero ellos dicen, pero a pasar arriba dice, uh, red produce. Entonces, uh, no sé cuál es la diferencia entre produce and sí, manufacture. Ok, mm -hmm. produce es producir, design uh -huh. es diseñar. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Manufactures. Manufactures es eh, crear. Estar ah, no. Manufacturar. They produce. Esa, uh -huh. eh, they uh -huh. produce. So, en este caso, no, they produce, right? People, manu uh, people know Rex manufactures. Los manufactures es como decir eh, los, la manufactura o los diseños que ellos producen. Ok. No sé si me agarra la idea. No, no. Ok, los, los productos, digamos en este caso, manufacturer se refiere a la ropa. Ajá. Se refiere a la ropa. Ajá. La calidad, ok. Produce es producir. Ajá. Manufacturer es como hacer. Puede ser producir, eh, yo puedo producir un producto pero el producto no el producto no no viene diseñado por mí por uh -huh. la misma compañía sino que viene una compañía y contrata a otra compañía para producir el, el, el producto ok entonces uh -huh. manufacturer viene a hacer las dos cosas producir y, y diseñar oh, it's true. That's true. Oh, it's true. very good uh -huh. that's true Okay, vamos a ir al, al main room, everybody. So let's just go to this. Okay, guys, uh, we have here, and we're going to discuss, let me just to verify, 
it's there are just some seconds that everybody joined to the to the session to the main session i will wait for the rest there are 16 15 seconds left okay very good i think we are all together yes we are all together okay number one People know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. Is true or is false? True. It's true. Very good. People know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. That's true or false? False. True. That's true. It's true. Okay. Because I think, I in, in the conversation. That it says, let me just go back to the conversation. Okay, we're gonna start. If you see in the conversation, uh, Rex is known for modern designs and quality for the clothes we make. Okay, and recognized as a prestigious company. That is the reason what is true. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, people see Rex as prestigious company. True. It's true or false? Oh. True. Okay, very good. It's and people, good. yes, questions? No. I, I don't think the teacher is manufactured. It's true. Es, es, no, no, sí. Eso es como decir que hacen. O That's right, que diseñan y hacen. Okay. Aparte de diseñar y hacer, lo producen. Eso es, lo envuelve todo. That's manufactures. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, no. Okay. Let's move on to the last one. Uh, four people rate rigs as one of the 20 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Oh, false. That's false. false. Very good. Okay, so we're going to move to the next part. And let me just share. Let me just share the presentation that I have here. Okay, let me know when you can see it. Can you see it? Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay, ahora vamos a ver, eh, we're going to go over how to use the passive voice. Okay, the passive voice is in order just to emphasize the doer. Okay, the doer is la persona que hace la acción. Okay, if you see, we have this um, explanation. We have compare somebody cleans the room every day. Eso es una forma activa. Okay, quien recibe, la, quien hace la acción es somebody. Is somebody who does the action. Who receives the action, quien recibe la acción es the room. Okay, so, entonces, para enfatizar eh, el objeto o la persona mm -hmm. que recibe la acción, ahí donde utilizamos the passive voice. Okay, if you see here in, the, in this voice. part, the room was clean yesterday. Okay, yeah. uh, the, the room was clean yesterday. That is, the passive of this one. Somebody cleaned the room yesterday. Okay, eso es en pasado, en presente. Somebody cleans the room every day. The room is clean every day. Si ustedes se fijan, we use the verb be más el pasado participio del verbo. Okay, aquí quiero, les voy a dejar una lista. Okay. Donde tenemos la lista de verbos irregulares. Ok. Eh, 
voy a escribir algo, solo déjenme anotar acá. Ok, cuando tenemos un verbo regular, we have a regular verb, we add ed at the end of the verb. For example, we have work that equals worked. If you see, we add ed at the end. We have play, so we have, sorry, we have played. Todo verbo regular solo se le va a agregar ed o id al final y ed al final. Okay, we have a study. That is equal to study. Okay. Estos son verbos regulares. Okay. Solo le vamos a agregar ed at the end. Oh, y le vamos a cambiar en el caso de study. We are going to change the y for i. Le vamos a cambiar la y por la y, la, y latina y le vamos a agregar ed al final. Ok, en el caso de los verbos irregulares, like this one, ok, like this thing, so we have B, el pasado del B es was y where, y el pasado participio es be. Entonces, en la voz pasiva, in the passive voice, vamos a utilizar this column en los verbos irregulares. The third chord, the past participle, this thing. Let me um, just wait for this. We are going to use this, the past participle, okay? The past participle of the verbs. Si ustedes se fijan, if you see, como les mencionaba anteriormente en una de las clases, there are some irregular verbs que no cambia. Tenemos cut in present, cut in past, and cut in past participle. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos read, Read is Alejandra. Read is in present. Red is in past, and red is in the past participle. You can see the same spelling. El misma escritura. Read se pronuncia read. Read en pasado se pronuncia read, y read en past participle se pronuncia read. A red, perdón. We have read, red, red. We have cut. Well, we have cut, cut, cut. And there are some other verbs that we can see. Okay, so let's go back to that. Let's go back to this one. And I will just do, let me see. Okay, we go back to this one. Okay, if you see, we have the verb be and the past participle of the verb. En presente. Solo ahorita vamos a, a trabajar el presente de el verbo. El principal que en este caso es be más el pasado participio. Okay, let's move on uh, to the textbook. I will just show the textbook. Share this. Okay, in this case, we go move into this one, and uh, we're going to contrast 
and we're going to see use the passive voice to emphasize the actions are more important than the doors. The doors son la, las, en este caso, la persona o el objeto que hace la acción. Ok. En, el, lo, en los casos siempre va a ir en el sujeto, en una oración activa. Ok. So let's move this one. Vamos a utilizar el verbo be más el pasado participio. Ok. Our company is considered. Si usted se fija, el verbo be más el pasado participio. The best manufactured brooms in the country. Number two, our products. ¿Cómo sería? Is o are? Are. Are, el pasado participio. Rated. 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 Very good. Of the five most popular in the United States. Our customer service agents. Agent is or are? Are. Are. Past participle of this. Solo le agrega. Perceived. 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 Solo se le agrega de. At the most efficient Perceived. in the sector. The brand is only one. Is or are? Yes. Is. C. C. Is, is the past participle is C. Solo se le agrega N. Mm -hmm. The brand is seen as leader in the energy drinks market. The company is one. Is, is known, is known as, a major as a major product in the region. In the region. Our vegetables are rated, are rated as the contaminated of the national market. Very good. Okay, alguna pregunta sobre el pasivo. Vamos a utilizar dos cosas. El verbo be, acuérdense que es is o are, y el pasado participio que voy a subir a la plataforma, la lista de los verbos, lo voy a subir a la plataforma mañana que esté el video, para que ustedes tengan una referencia de los verbos irregulares. Solo para revisar, eh, vamos a hacer una, uh, acuérdense que siempre hay una, un repaso de la clase anterior. Ok, mañana vamos a hacer el repaso de la clase de ahora. Ok, eh, voy a tomar lista nuevamente eh, de las personas de que no me contestaron en la primera uh, ronda de pasar lista. Solo así rapidito. Eduardo, Anto, Eduardo Antonio Ángel, eh, Kenny Alexandra, Montenegro, Sergio Alberto Sosa, Mónica Guadalupe, José Ernesto Rivera, tenemos Maritza Elizabeth, Mariela Lourdes, Emma Carolina, Daniel Edgardo, ok, no one of them say hello or present. Okay, guys, as a review, what did you learn today? Okay, uh, antes que hagamos el review, acuérdense de la lista de quienes eh, van a ser la, ¿cómo se llama? El one-to-one, one-on-one, de quienes van a tener la um, uno y uno conversación conmigo para despejar dudas. Déjenme ver por acá quiénes... Quienes les puse. Ok. Tenemos Eduardo, Jenny. No está. Jenny se va a quedar conmigo. A uh, Jenny le va a tocar a las 10 y 20. Eh, Kenny no está. Pero espero se conecte más tarde. Sergio um, no está igual. Y Mónica Guadalupe no está igual. Ok. Vamos. Uh, Jenny eh, se conecta a las. No... Sí, dígame. Si, sí, por ejemplo, alguien no se conecta a la hora establecida, me puedo conectar más temprano. Es que me han dejado como a las 10 y 40. Yo le aprendo eh, en el listado ahora, ¿verdad? No, ahora no. No es para ahora. No es para ahora. Solo, sí, acuérdense. Mandaron un correo. Sí, mandaron un correo, pero so, para los todos los miércoles. Para los que tengo agendado nada más ahora, eh, son cinco de la, de la lista, que es Eduardo, Jenny, Kenny, eh, Sergio y Mónica. 
el siguiente miércoles van a ir otras cinco personas, ¿ok? No sé para cuándo. Una no consulta. Dígame. Eh, y esta, ese horario de las consultas no se puede modificar antes, o sea, porque ya a las 10.40, uno se puede estar reuniendo, bueno, en mi caso no podría, pero no sé si se puede hacer, digamos, de 9 a 10 antes de la clase, no sé, realmente. Ok, voy a consultarlo porque administración es el que, es el que ha hecho el horario. Voy a consultarlo, Dora, para a ver qué me dicen, cuándo le toca. No, no, no tengo ningún correo, pero me estoy anticipando por si me toca okay. en ese horario. Voy, a, voy a, a, a revisar el horario y le mando un mensaje o mañana le, le comento si yo tengo alguna respuesta sobre su caso. Sí, por favor, porque, okay. en, en, porque yo madrugo, entonces... Sí, entiendo. No voy a... Por favor, Entiendo, no se preocupe. Y okay. una consulta. Sí, dígame. En mi caso es a las 10 y, y 20, ¿verdad? Mm, Tendría sí. que iniciar como que vamos a clase, así con ese... Con es, ese es otro ¿sí? link, es otro no link. Eh, déjeme ver, eh, la, no lo no tiene en la plataforma. La plataforma, no sé. Estoy ahí perdida. Ok, ahorita voy a consultar eso eh, y ¿cómo se llama? Le mando el link para, o le digo que a Elena, que le mande el link directamente a usted para que eh, se conecte. Ok. Ok, okay. okay guys. Um, any question? We have two minutes before um, stop the class. ¿Alguna pregunta? Los Eduardo, Carlos, Flor, Julia. Eh, ¿Está claro lo que vimos ahora? Mañana vamos a seguir practicando. El viernes vamos a hacer un repaso de todo lo que hemos visto durante la semana. Vamos a incluir, uh, we are going to, I'm going to include the grammatical structure. I'm going to include the vocabulary that we learn and some other exercises. Ok. Eh, no sé si hay alguna consulta. No, no. Todo está bien. Ok. Ok, guys. I see you tomorrow. So I will see you later, Jenny. And, um, okay. ya, ya, lo, ya, lo, ya lo encontré. Ya lo encontró. En WhatsApp, sí. Ok. Very good. Okay, entonces, see you guys. Thank you for coming. Eh, acuérdense de ir a la plataforma y comentar en los foros, al igual que las tareas que están después de cada sesión. Okay. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, sir. Bye.